we wanted to be known for something. We wanted to get really good at something um, because we wanted to also have really short lead times, which is very important nowadays. Everyone wants something yesterday. Uh, hello, whatever you're doing, put down, hello, pay attention. This is one of those videos you definitely want to be a part of. I got my buddy James with me, one of those entrepreneurs as you look at the robo drills behind us. When you think of maybe a Bill Gates or a Steve Jobs or a Warren Buffett, am I giving you too much credit? Oh, they all did start in a garage, so. They all did start in a garage, and just like this young man, being brilliant, growing into something. So this might be the first time you get to meet James, but it will not be the last time you get to meet James. I'm here at Servant Solutions today, talking with a couple of new robo drills, and I need to know, at a young age, when you have Pro Shop to my right, mm -hmm. a couple of Excellence in Manufacturing Awards, starting in 2020, why robo drill? So, once we graduated from our mid-level machines, we started the business with a Tormach and then we got a sill. And then we decided it was we needed to like take a step up to like an actual like machine. Um, we reached out to methods and then they sent us to Maruka and then instantly we got a call from Kevin, our sales guy, who just from minute one was super responsive with us. Uh, he was super knowledgeable and he could tell that obviously we knew like very little about what we were doing so he was very patient with all of our ridiculous at the time questions uh, and just from the very beginning Kevin and all of Maruka has been great to work with. Um, Kevin came to our shop at our house when he used to be in our garage so he was very impressed with everything we were doing and then we met him at IMTS a couple months later and we knew we wanted a five axis, but we had no idea what we were doing. So he kind of showed us everything that we needed to know about five axis. Uh, Fanuc Robo Joes aren't a five, a, like a built in five axis. So you need to put like a, a table on it. So Kevin was showing us all the dip, different options for that. Uh, he was showing us the different spindle options and just so many options on these machines, which is great because you can configure it exactly how to, to fit your needs. Um, so once we had everything configured, um, Kevin was great with working on us with the price and everything. Um, and then when we put this in our shop in November of last year, we like the, when we started cutting chips, we instantly knew we were like, we need another one of these. So we had a Sill X7 next to it and we sold that pretty much instantly and bought another robo drill. Um, that one is three axis, so we have a, a solid three axis machine and a solid five axis machine. And they've just been cranking out parts ever since. Did uh, Kevin drop you an extra hundred bucks for all those compliments? <laughs> he had to have, had to have. I know so Kevin's only, here only listening some cannoli, as well. Only some cannolis. <laughs> some cannolis is yes. a good trade. Now, I want to get real quickly into the kind of parts you make because mm -hmm. You're ITAR certified. Yes. You're setting yourself apart as being a quick turnaround type of mm -hmm. shop and a lot of smaller parts getting it done real quick. We know the robo drill itself has the potentials of zipping around. We know mm -hmm. it to be incredibly fast yes. as well. And so we'll get into what the robo drill has helped you accomplish, but I want to build that foundation by the parts you're making first. Would you mind describing yep. what you're making here at Servant Solutions? So when we started the business, we knew that uh, quoting and kind of like having competition was something that we'd have to deal with, but we wanted to mitigate the competition. So uh, we didn't want to be like an everything shop. There's a lot of shops that are just like, oh yeah, we do any kind of work. And we wanted to be known for something. We wanted to get really good at something um, because we wanted to also have really short lead times, which is very important nowadays. Everyone wants something yesterday. So we decided to get really good at small parts and we decided to have a very fast lead time. So. And this mach these machines both help us a lot with that because um, even just things like touching off the tools is super fast, loading the tools, and when we're doing low volume work like that, so we do very low volume work, everything's like one to 10 pieces, maybe like 50 or whatever, but the lead time is super critical. So even just the ability to probe apart really fast or uh, touch off tools fast, load tools, all of that helps cut down our, our setup times, which is huge with low volume work. Like the faster we can get that down, the better. So these machines have really helped us uh, lower our cycle times. Um, and that since we do small parts, having 24,000 RPM on these has been huge because um, with small parts, a lot of times we're using like 20,000 end mills, 5,000 end mills, 
in like copper and different materials, aluminum, really deep. Uh, we had one job and it had to go out to EDM, but we told the customer like, hey, we can cut the lead time in half on this if we could do it in house. So we used a 10 times diameter reach, uh, 20 thou end mill to machine these really deep slots. And that saved a week of lead time because we didn't need to send it out to EDM then. And it saved the customer money. So being, having 24,000 RPM was super convenient because if we did that with like 8,000 RPM, it would have taken three times as long. So being able to have that fast RPM for the really small tools is awesome. Yeah, James, please don't drop my microphone, but that was certainly a mic drop moment. Oh, yes. So thank you for sharing that as well. Now, when I think of a robo drill, also, I, I think of the fact that they, if ever, need maintenance. Was that one of the reasons why you invested in something? When I hear you describe we're shortening lead times, we're trying to get things out the door, we're not going to battle with a overseas competition, we mm -hmm. want everything to be done here in the U.S., I would imagine the reliability of the machine might be kind of important as well. Would that be true? Yes. Yeah, so one, the reason we wanted to focus on such reliability is when we had our old machine, we would have like a really important job due the next day and the spindle would just decide to like not work that day. Ouch. And we kind of realized like, okay, if we have a five day lead time, like everything needs to work. Like we can't have any issues ever. So everyone we talked to said the robo drills were just rock solid machines. They're like, oh, mine's been running for like 14 years. It's never had an issue. I just kept hearing that over and over again. So that's why we want the robo drills. And that, the, the three axis machine has been absolutely solid. The five axis machine we've been running uh, all day since we got it, every day. And the only issue we had was like one sensor in the tool changer and they fixed it like the next day. Uh, Maruka fixed it the next day. So just absolutely flawless Smooth for sailing. everything, yeah. I like that. And Kevin Sorrow, please forgive me because I'm about to misquote you, but if I'm not mistaken, we're talking in the millions of tool changes repetitively over yeah. and over again with the speed and never having an issue. Yeah. Well, we now know a little bit about you. We know the reasons behind investing in RoboDrill as a small shop and entrepreneurship as you're continually growing. I see some space where another one might go as well, which I'm excited about. So where, if somebody wants to work with you, where can they find out more about you? Do you have a website or some social media areas where we can look you up? So all of our uh, handles are Servant Solutions. So on Instagram, Servant Solutions. And then we have a website, ServantSolutions.com. And then you can find me and my business partner, Sean, on LinkedIn. So James Servan and Sean Servan. So if I'm now closing out this conversation and I've got all of this information, I would just want to highlight one last time, now that everyone watching has your website, if I'm a watcher right now going, I would love to support these guys. I love supporting up and growing manufacturing <laughs> facilities. What type of products, industries, components, would I be the type of person to reach out to you and say, yes, we can do that? Mm -hmm. So we do all low volume work so if you have uh, any prototyping needs or just really fast lead time needs um, that's what we specialize in uh, we do work for aerospace a lot of tech companies uh, medical device companies and uh, we just are really good at small parts so really good at small parts and it's not just him saying it there's banners on the wall saying excellence in manufacturing award two three years in a row we got pro shop as i look around they are truly investing in the best technology the best work holding the best everything around to make sure that the future is going to be very bright for these young entrepreneurs i encourage you on behalf of myself and mtd cnc to reach out to these guys and see if they can help your shop because this to me is one of those potentials you do not want to look past Thank you all for watching and we appreciate it. James. Awesome. You are incredible. Thank you.